Hi guys, oh two hand wave, hello. <laughs> um, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another declutter video for 2023. And today we're focusing on a couple of categories. We've got soaps, including the liquid one, and like micellar waters, makeup removers, that type of thing. So yeah, I've just sort of plugged them all in for one video because it's not they're not massive categories, they're not dreadfully out of hand. But um, I will be referring back to my inventory from 2021, which I've got everything photographed on Insta. So that's a really good reference for me. Um, hopefully next year I will, um, well, once I've done all my full declutters, I'll start popping things into a spreadsheet, I think, actually. And then as stuff comes in, I'll start adding it in and taking it out. I really fancy having everything on the spreadsheet so then if I ever want to do like a like a whole collection project pan I can just like randomize it and it'll just give me a number and I can pull them out that's more information than you needed anyway um I'm looking forward to this I'm on a roll with my filming I'm just doing mass filming at the moment just so I've got stuff as you know because I'm currently probably laid on a beach with a cocktail in my hand sunning myself loving life um if you hate declutters, why have you clicked? <laughs> Go watch something else and I'll see you in my next video. Unless it's another declutter video. But most of us that are coming on these now kind of know the drill. And we're all here just to be nosy. And also to remind ourselves, what, well, you can all remind yourselves what you've got in your collection that you might sort of see in mine. Everything I've kind of got is from beauty boxes. Um, a lot of these I've purchased myself in the past. Some are really old. <laughs> um, but obviously, as you know, I currently receive PR from Discovered Beauty and also Glossy Box. So, you know, if things have come in in that, then they'll be gifted items. Um, yeah, shall we crack on? Um, okay, let's do soaps first. I had this one laid out. I can't remember if it's in a project just now or I'm thinking about putting it into a project. Um, so, but it is the Lemon Mild Antiseptic Soap detoxifying soothing and antioxidant and um, it looks really nice actually it smells stunning i've only just got this really recently um oh, it's just look it's like a proper handmade soap in it oh it smells gorgeous so yes we are keeping that i haven't included in this things like my normal like cousins hand soap well you know what i mean not cousins but like dove or simple all the other sort of types of hand soaps that you get from own bargains that i've got in the kitchen and in the bathrooms and downstairs loos and everything like that so um they're not coming in for this just because they're kind of like a rolling thing where i just buy them use them replace them buy some more you know but this is sort of stuff that is a little bit nicer or is it um <laughs> so yeah we've got that there um now I had this last time in 2021 and it is, I put it in with the soap category because I'm not really sure what it is, but it's a mud bar. So it's a deep ocean facial mud bar. I haven't used it yet. Oh, see, this one was from, this is when I was good at a label. This was from Discovered Beauty Box. <laughs> and let's see. I think it was just like a block, like a, that you can just cleanse your face with. So is that I don't know if there's that mould now on it maybe. I think it could be. Um it still smells okay, however, it's looking slightly suspect. I mean I suppose you could cut that off and it is soap. You must be able to wash itself. <laughs> um but I haven't used it and to be honest, it's probably not something I'm gonna use. So with is with deep regret that I'm going to um Say goodbye. Nice little tin though. I might recycle that tin. I kind of like the tin. Okay, doke. Um, next thing we've got, and see, I think all of these soaps are pretty much <laughs> right. Have a look there, then have a look in my box. But um, I think there's gonna be a few repeat offenders. So this has been in since last time as well. So detox bar. Again, I don't really need to detox my face, particularly I don't have like a greasy face, but it is free from so it's cruelty free, free from palm oil, SLS, plastics and parabens. I really love the idea of soaps and I do use a lot more hand soaps. I use a hand soap in my bathroom. Um, but I've got a liquid soap downstairs in, in the um, sort of guest loo, as it were, you know, just downstairs loo. Um, interesting, 12 months from opening. Is this because they're natural products? I mean, I've had this two years. It still looks okay though, doesn't it? doesn't really smell of anything this might be one that I just pop in my bathroom just to um 
use you know i think i need to start using this at the moment i've been really bad in my bathroom i'm saying i've got soaps so i'm just going to sort of go off on a tangent but kind of explain i think why i've still got so many of these here so yeah i have soap in my bathroom and it's either i either use dove or imperial leather right and i buy these soaps in and yet i've got these soaps here so i think what i need to do is just start putting these soaps out i'm actually just about to finish a bar of soap in my bathroom so i can put one of these out and then just use that instead and um, even if it's like a cleansing bar i can use it as a hand soap it's absolutely fine isn't it so i think that's going to be my plan to do so yes yeah, so we'll keep that it might be nice just one to pop in the bath or something or in the shower um this i had in my 50 shades of green last year i didn't really use it that much but what i have been using this one for was for cleaning my makeup brushes and um, because it had a little divot in it and it was really handy to fit my brushes in <laughs> in there Um, it has got a bit funny now though and to be honest i'm not that fond of the fragrance it's cinnamon and ginger but it just smells really spicy i think if you like sort of like your pumpkin lattes and i mean it's not an awful smell but it's not one I'd want on my face if I was using it as a face soap. Um, it's okay for my brushes, but I think I'm going to declutter that one. I've had it for ages. It has been open and used, and I clearly don't wash my brushes enough. Um, let's declutter that. Um, we see it quite a lot of these Dr. Botanical soaps, you remember? And they're actually quite nice. This is a cocoa and coconut superfood facial cleansing bar. Cruelty-free, vegan... Um, I'm going to have a look. Now, if this smells like chocolate, I'll get rid of it because I hate the fragrance of chocolate. I love eating chocolate. I love smelling chocolate if it is chocolate. But I have got a chocolate fragrance candle. Cannot burn it. It is it's just rank. Um, so let's have a sniff. So these, I just love these. I'm going to, oh, do you remember? I said I was going to show you how to um, crochet a little like soap pocket thing so you could then use it in the shower so you could keep your soap in that and that's maybe something i'm gonna do when i get back off my holiday um doesn't it smell dreadful i think i could probably use that one without any dramas so um it wasn't on my inventory last time so it's, it's less than two years old Um, so we will keep that next we have now these were on last time, I'm sure. Oh, were they not? I thought they were. Yeah, we can, I can kind of remember doing having these. I'm sure I can from my inventory. Anyway, they're not on there. Okay, so maybe they're not as old as I thought. But they're very, very thin little soaps. I'm not really sure what I'll do with them. They're artisan soaps. You've seen, there's three of them in here. Can you see? Um, well, that, this one feels a bit... Oh, it's gone a bit sweaty i'm actually gonna that's probably the oils maybe in the soap coming out i'm gonna declutter them i just made an executive decision and um, they were a bit weird anyway not weird that's not fair to say but these ones that maybe would have benefited from going in a little pack together um in one of those like little pouches that i'm gonna make um just because they're so thin because once you start using them they're gonna break up aren't they it's almost like your soap's nearly finished before it's began, um, which is a shame. I'd have rather have had just one block rather than three little blocks, do you know? What? So it's just a shame. Um, but yes, we shall say goodbye. It did look really nice there. This is definitely going. It is a, what was it? This is stained because I had it in a, um, like a microfiber cloth and it was a black cloth and it seems to have stained it but it wasn't a, was it a, i thought it was gallonet which one was it i can't remember what this was is it something that's on here oh i think it's a temple spa this is a temple spa soap i've just remembered that's exactly what it is in fact there you go you can see the logo so yeah, it's a temple spa and literally i just used it at the caravan i think and it's there it's there but we'll declutter that um argentum Facial cleansing bar. I don't know if I would use that, if I'm honest. It's so little. I might just pass that on to somebody. And then I had a Galanet um, cleansing bar. I had like a set of products from Galanet. I think they contacted me. I did try it. I'm pretty sure I tried it. I definitely used the cleanser 
Have I used this? Oh, I haven't. I thought I had. Hmm. I think I must have used, I had a cleanser and I had something else. But I did have this two years ago in my inventory. Let me sniff it. Smells nice. Um, For me, I'm not going to declutter soap. It's, do you know, if I found one at the back of my kitchen cupboard and I wasn't doing, I wasn't like on YouTube, I wouldn't be like, oh, I need to throw that soap out. Do you know what I mean? So I think that it looks fine. There's no bloom or anything on it. Just checking for dates. It is a... So it's a cleansing bar, so it's good for like sort of like dry skin. I think it's got probiotics and post, so pre and postbiotics. Sorry, I'm not in focus. And it's soap free, ultra gentle formula. Oh, that sounds nice then. So yeah, it will be like just having all of your cleansers in a bar. So yeah, that is something I really fancy trying. Bit, bit more if you ever go away with hand luggage something like that is ideal isn't it because it doesn't count in your liquids um this is fairly new as well so it's a dead sea mud facial bar vegan oh made in cumbria and so you've got three years on it so that's good so i can definitely keep this um lather in hands massage onto skin leave for a bit and wash off is it for the whole body? So I, don't, it's, I never know. Oh yeah, facial bar door. Okay, we'll keep that. It sounds quite nice. And then I've had this for donkeys. This was a good monkey's one. I had this last time. Um, it just reminds me of like pear soap. It's just like great shape soap. And it still smells nice, to be honest. I haven't used it, but I think this is one I probably would be able to use. And let me just check to make sure there's no dates on it. So it's a clarifying cleanse. Oh, hang on a minute. Dum -ba -dum -ba -dum. Oh, it's for acne prone skin. I might pass this on to someone else then actually, because it's probably not what I need. I'm now more about moisture and things like that. So yeah, we shall pass that along. It's a couple I can pass along there. Um, this is one of those, um, do you remember I had one of those like pearl ones in with my bath and shower products so this is a charcoal version of that and um, so yes yeah, soap on the outside sponge on the inside they're really great kind of products i haven't used one like this before um so it is mild well that's good it tells you it's gentle mild or vigorous so it's um exfoliate detox balance all skin types lovely but we'll give that a go then so clean is a state of mind okie dokie Lovely. Um, we'll give that a go since it's for all skin types. It, I did have it last time, but it's sealed and it's fine. And I've just got a little hand soap here, which is a molten brown one and um, brand new. I will save that. It's an orange and bergamot, which I really like that fragrance. So keeping that. So that's all the soaps done. Right, going on to just the um, doodahs. My cellar waters and makeup removers couldn't think of the word so i've got a couple of these um dragon blood cleansing waters by radial hydrating tone now i'm not i'm not a massive my cellar water user but when i'm doing like my videos like with my pan and every palette and things and i'm doing swatches and i want to get rid of them i'll usually use them then and i really like these ones so i've got two here this one's virtually all but finished I really like it. I've got another backup here, so I'm going to be keeping these. Um, this is virtually and what I like about it. It's got those ones where you just put your cotton round on the top, you press down, it delivers the product up into there, and it automatically just soaks your cotton round. It's a great, great little invention. These are so good. I have got some just like blank ones of these, which I use in my crafting for things like um, like my alcohol <laughs> not like my drinking alcohol but alcohol for my crafts um and it's a really good safe way of keeping it so you don't spill it or anything you just literally just pump pump get a bit that you need jobs are good on you can also put like your na um, nail polish remover and stuff like that in them really good for that um we've got a tiny garnier my cell water so if i was going to buy one it'd usually be like this this has come in a box i've had it for donkeys but it's fine it's well, I've had it for donkeys. It's still relatively new. Um, I don't feel the need to get rid of it. Well, it does say six months from opening, really. If I'm just using it for swatches, I feel happy with that. Um, this is just my 
eye makeup remover I couldn't get my normal Nivea one so I've got this I don't mind it I don't think it's as good as the Nivea one but it's absolutely fine so I'll keep that just because it's my only one purely for eyes right then let's have a look i need to just pull up the um doodah from get my micellar waters from my last thing where are they can you see them guys shout at me if you see them i can't see them oh is that it there yeah makeup removers so yeah they're in there so this I had last time um it's there and i still haven't used it it's number seven that probably came out of a number seven beauty advent calendar i think or either one of the gifts with purchases now it's a long time since i purchased any number seven makeup and it is years ago since i had the advent calendar so therefore i am going to declutter and then i've got this one which is clarins so that's not my old one um and it is a water comfort one step cleanser peach essential water normal or dry skin okay i will keep that purely because i am um, all the clarin skincare i've tried i've really enjoyed so yeah i can't see why that would be any different can't see all day i don't think i've used it oh it says clarins on the lid cool and um, so yeah i'll keep that as well so yeah not a massive declutter there guys but i don't think it was one that really needed to be huge i think all i need to think about now is instead of just sticking in a um like a, a bar of dove soap into my bathroom just reach for one of these and if i do that i'm going to get through them fairly quickly so we'll see how we go so we've actually just got like one two three four five blocks of soap that little soap and sponge thingy and then yeah the rest is not it's not massive is it um but i have decluttered one two three four five bars of soap and a little um micellar water so yeah i think that's all right don't you um short i was gonna say short and sweet it's still 17 minutes my god i talk so much <laughs> i'm so sorry okay well thank you for watching as always um i love the fact that how interactive you all are on these videos um honestly i really really appreciate it and i love reading your comments and i just love that it's helping to motivate you to look through your own collections and stuff so yeah that's really cool i'm just thinking now what is next i've got oh, bits of soap or something there Eek, what's that um have i got anything else in this room to declutter from like skincare and body care i think i think i think i think we are now going to be moving on to hair products oh dear this is going to be a, a difficult category for me so now um yeah brace ourselves be warned that next time it's going to be bring snacks and a brew so take care guys enjoy whatever you're doing today it is a sunday here i was going to say enjoy the rest of your weekend but i don't know what day this will be going up on so whatever you're doing i hope you're enjoying yourself i hope you're well and safe and happy and i will see you in my next video thanks so much for watching as always Mwah. love you all guys take care bye for now